Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So you guys seem to enjoy me doing these crazy weird quizzes that we found online and I actually found this one on Reddit. There's like a subreddit called One True God and it's pretty weird. It's basically a whole subreddit dedicated to the fact that Nicolas Cage is actually God. And you know what? I kind of like that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and agree with them on that. He's pretty cool. So they basically love Nicolas Cage and a question came up on this site which is will you press the button related to Nicolas Cage? And I thought I'd go and check the website out. The basic idea is it will give you a scenario. So the one it's given us as like an example is you can have all the superpowers you want but then it will give you kind of but this is gonna happen and it's not so great, you still wanna press the button. So in this case, we've got your best friend becomes your nemesis and has all your powers too. And you've gotta decide whether you wanna click this button here, it's like the Facebook hand. It's like the Facebook hand there. Or you were like, I will not, and you do not press the button. And then I don't know if it's gonna go, like I literally haven't tried this at all because I wanted it to be like fresh and new and when I, when I played it, I didn't wanna know what was gonna happen. So I don't know if it's gonna tell us like the stats of whether people will or won't, but I thought it would be pretty fun to try. So as always, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. If you guys wanna give this a go as well, you can do. Let me know what kind of, you get any of the same questions that I did, let me know. And if you do any of the same answers or if you choose differently, let me know why you did uh, and what you did and why you did it. Also, have you noticed that Sims 4 is literally being advertised on this page? It was like, it was destiny that I was meant to find this quiz. It couldn't be more perfect. So not only do we get to play the quiz, but we've got Sims 4 advertisements to look at as well. So all in all, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. Also, when I switch to this quiz, it's very blue. So if you notice, my face is gonna go pretty blue. I'm kind of highlighted blue now, instead of like, this is the actual color of the room. And can I also just say, this room is insanely hot. I have three screens. Ali has four screens. We've got two big lights and it's just ridiculously hot. Like PCs there as well and consoles. I'm dying in here, like I'm dying. So if I collapse halfway through the quiz, you know why. Okay, let's kick off. So we'll do that first when we can have all the superpowers we want, but our best friend, which would be Ali in my case, becomes our nemesis and he has all our superpowers too. So if we're invisible, and we're super strong, and we're invincible, Ali is gonna be all the same too, which would be great, but he's also gonna become my nemesis. And I don't want my boyfriend to be my nemesis. I feel like that's not conductive to a good relationship, guys. I feel like that would definitely make things quite difficult at home. So I'm gonna say, I will not. Oh my gosh, 63% of people press the button on that. Our Sims advertisements have gone, guys. The Sims advertisements have gone. But I like this, it tells you what the results are. So 63% of people would press that button. I'm guessing those people probably don't class their best, they don't have a partner or they don't think that their best friend is their partner. Because trust me, if your best friend's your partner, you can't do that, guys, you can't do it. Okay, on to the next one. You will have a great relationship being just like you imagined. I already have that guys, see question one. But you can only see your friends once a year. Like, I feel like I don't have to press the button here because I already have it. And I want to see my friends more than once a year. So I'm going to say I will not because I already have the thing that the button is. So I don't need to press the button and get it because I already got it. I already got it. 50%, that is literally 50-50. So 50% of people would value a relationship over friends and the other 50% would value friends over a relationship. In my case, it wasn't quite like that, but so far this is like hashtag relationships goals for Ali and Claire because both these answers have been directly resulted on our relationship. Oh my gosh, here's like a blazing inferno in here. Okay, next question. I wanna press the button, I've not pressed it yet. Okay, you can eat anything you want and never gain weight. Never gain weight. Okay, that's fine, because you will sustain weight. So you're not gonna just drop dead because you're not gaining any like food intake. You're just not gaining weight. But you are certain to have explosive diarrhea within two hours that you cannot control or know when. No, no, absolutely not pressing that button, guys. You can eat whatever you want and never gain weight. You just have to eat, you just have to manage your portions. You have to exercise calorie control and portion control. And you can still eat whatever you want, you just can't eat as much as you want. So you can do this one anyway, you just, and you don't have this stupid side effect. So I will not, I will not. I feel like my, that's like my grandma says that. So like whenever I hear the words, I will not, I hear my Irish grandma being like, I will not. So I'm gonna say, I will not. Guys, I've still not pressed the button. And also, nearly 70% of people refuse to do that. I mean, 
The explosive diarrhea every two hours, like you don't know when it's gonna happen. That would literally be like deliberating on your life. Deliberating? No. Dehabilitating? No. Oh my gosh, what is the word? I don't know what the word is. It's gone, it's too hot to think. But that would ruin your life. Like you wouldn't be able to leave the house unless you wore nappies. I don't wanna wear an adult diaper, so. Next. You can read minds, but you can't speak. Oh man, that one's quite cool because you kind of become like um, like almost like some sort of amazing like magey god type character where you know what everyone's thinking. You could write it down, so you could write it all down. You could use a computer program to type it and speak it in like real time if you were typing really fast, but you just can't actually speak. But then on the other hand, I don't think like I think people love the idea of reading other people's minds. I think in reality, reading other people's minds would actually be pretty horrible because you'd know, like, people think bad things without meaning to, like, bad thoughts pop into people's heads. Like, apparently it's a really normal thing to be driving and just imagine in your head, what if I drove into the other lane of traffic? Like, people don't want to do that, but that thought just pops into their head. So you would read people's minds and kind of get this, this unfair, like, unrealistic expectation of what that kind of person is like, so... Yet again, like, Grandma Bridie, I will not... This is- I wanna- I wanna press it! 51% oh, of people would like that ability. I mean, you could probably stop a lot of wars. You could stop a lot of horrible attacks happening because you could read the people's minds. But also, what if you couldn't filter out minds so it was like a thousand minds being played into your brain at once and you went mad from the power? That would not be good. Okay, on to the next question, guys. We've still not pressed the button! You get free M&Ms for the rest of your life, but they're all the same colour. So, I, I like Skittles, I think you can taste the difference. You can taste the rainbow, but you can taste the difference between the colours really clearly. I think with M&Ms, it's not quite as much as a big deal. Like, like especially if it's like a peanut M&M, you're just tasting the peanut. Like, it doesn't really matter what colour it is. So I actually will press the button on this one, guys. Free M&Ms for life. And they're all the same colour. I mean, like, make them all yellow, I don't care. I even like yellow and orange Skittles, like, literally, I don't care. In fact, I think Ali's favourite Skittle colour is orange. Is that right? Smarties, the orange one tastes uh, orange. The Skittles, I just eat every single one. There like we them. go. We were eating Skittles one day and he started lining out all the orange ones and I'm like, oh, you are like literally the 1% of Skittles eaters in the whole world. But there we go, guys. I, Ali and I now are free M&Ms for life. I want free Skittles for life. Uh, that's not the question. You're asking too much. So we've got free M&Ms for life. I'm going to request that they're peanut M&Ms because they're the best ones. In fact, in America, I think they have peanut butter M&Ms, which will make Ali very happy because he's a peanut butter fiend. Um, but they're all the same color. I don't care. I really don't care. So there we go, guys. We finally pressed the button. Feels good to have pressed the button. On to the next question. You don't need to eat or drink to live, but anything you eat tastes terrible anyway. So, like, it'd be good because you just not having to stop and eat or, like, going on a really hot day and going for a run and, like, walking across the desert, you'd never need to stop for a drink. I think at that point, you're basically immortal. You're, like, half immortal. But if you do want to eat, anything you eat tastes terrible anyway. And, like, guys, I literally think one of the joys of life is food. Like, I love food. I'm never gonna turn down the opportunity to eat food. And the idea that I would never have to, never be able to eat it again because it tastes horrible, it's just too much, guys. Like, no, I wanna eat food. I wanna eat pizza and pasta and stir fries and curries and chocolates. I wanna eat all of them. And broccoli, oh my gosh. And peach juice, oh my gosh. No, no, I will not, I will not. 55% of people press the button for that. They're probably thinking like in these post-apocalyptic type situations where all the food's got radiation, you're gonna get rats if you drink it or eat it. But I'm thinking here and now. I'm thinking here and now, and I wanna go and get ZZ's soon. So definitely, definitely staying on the not pressing a button on that one. You will gain immortality and ultimate stamina. Someone's been playing a lot of Skyrim. Stamina is pretty good in Skyrim because it means you can swing and hit things. But if you max out your restoration skill point tree, then you gain stamina by healing. So technically you've got unlimited stamina. There you go. Um, but nothing will ever end your existence. Not even the heat death of the universe. So you're gonna live forever. 
but you will literally live forever. So you're gonna see everyone you love die, the earth end, the sun ex explode in a supernova. You're gonna just be floating in space, being like, well, this is boring, this is very boring. And then the universe will end and you'll still be there like, man, I, I don't know how New Girl ended. Like, I don't know how anything ended. I don't like this idea. I don't like the idea at all. Also, I think if you lived forever, like if you imagine when you're a kid, Things like an hour seems to take a much longer amount of time. Like an hour in school took ages. And like your life experience was quite small. So like each part of that life experience was quite important. If you live forever, I think one, your brain would just not be able to handle that amount of memories. Like you would forget things. And also because you'd live for such a long time, each like segment of your life would have so little importance. Like you just wouldn't care about anything. I also think it would get to the point where life would seem like it was going really, really quickly. Because like as a 20, like seven year old, I feel like life goes by much faster than when I was like 15. So if I was a 2.7 million year old, my life would just be like, Zhoop! you wouldn't remember or experience anything. So I know I'm getting boring with this lack of button pressing, but I will not. I didn't even press it properly. There we go. 57% of people press the button. You did not think about it like I did. Just max out your restoration, guys, okay? You gain lightning quick reflexes, but you can never play video games again. Oh man, they know how much I want those lightning quick reflexes, but they also know how much I like video games. Like I just came back from E3. I never get to play Fire Emblem Warriors. I'd never get to play any more Destiny 2. I'd never get to play Super Mario Odyssey. Like it would be pretty tough, guys. Like. Ali, Ali's family always joke that they have these aching reflexes, like they catch things on their feet. They're pretty speedy. Unlike, Ali has said that my reactions are quite fast as well. And I had a test at school where you drop the ruler and I caught it in the fastest amount of time. And um, we did a test with, with uh, sound and I was the fastest in the class of like pressing a button after sound. I don't have lightning quick reflexes. I can't literally move at the speed of light. I feel like I would probably break some joints if I did that. But my reflexes aren't bad, that's what I'm saying. They're not too bad. And I don't want to give up like, playing video games because, you know, channels channels kind of built around that. So if I can't play video games, then I can't make videos for you guys either. So I will not. I will not do that. 52% of people would. I think a lot of these, there's not like a strong push one way or the other. People are pretty much like straight down the line as to whether they would do something or not. Chris here says, instead of playing Call of Duty, just join the army and dodge bullets. You could be a super soldier. I think he means a super soldier, but I kind of want to be a super soldier. Like, like going in and getting like a little porridge at the end of the day, or like some little chips and stuff. I think a super soldier sounds much more fun. Okay, you get to live in a flat with your best friend and you go on an adventure every day. But every partner you have thinks you're gay and you're best with your best friend and leaves you. Okay. I'm gonna call the hashtag relationship goals thing again. I live with my best friend and we do go on adventures often. Maybe not every day. We did go on adventures every day when Pokemon Go was big. Like every day was like, let's let's get Eevee, let's go out, let's do some fun stuff, let's go to a place we've never been before, let's go to a really pretty park and let's catch Pokemon. And that was literally like goals. This was summer last year and that was our life like every day. It was very, very cool. So I already have this. I already have this, so I don't need and then if, if Ali is my best friend and also my partner, he's probably not going to think I'm gay and leave me for hanging out with him. I think in fact opposite effect that reaffirms the fact that I'm obviously attracted to him as the opposite gender. So yet again guys, hashtag relationship goals, I'm going to call that and I don't need to press the button. I will not. Oh wow, so less people press the button here. Less people press the button uh, because they obviously want a partner and they don't want their partner leaving them all the time. Like that's pretty heart wrenching guys, that's pretty heart wrenching. Oh look, Freddy, Freddy Shmirnov, Sh Shmirnov, Fred, Fred, Fred Shmirnov also had the same conundrum I did, where my partner is my best friend. Freddy, you know, Fred, 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 you know. I don't know how you say that name. You can read anything, any language, even music, even music, but you can't write anything by any means. So you can read everything, but you can't write anything. I assume that means type as well. So I couldn't title my uh, my videos. I couldn't uh, write any descriptions. I couldn't send an email to my mum. Couldn't send like a text to Ali. Couldn't do any of that. 
but I can read anything in any language. I feel like if that was the case, I could just like hire someone to write things on my behalf or like ask Ali to write things for me. And as a result, I can read anything. I could like read hieroglyphics. If an alien language was discovered, they'd be like, we need to bring in Claire because she can read anything. Especially if I'd picked that um, immortality option, I would literally be a god at that point who could read anything and live forever. I think, I think I'd be tempted for this, you know? I haven't been able to read anything would be really, really cool. I'd be able to read all those comments on Instagram that are in a different language and I'm like, Oh gosh, I don't know whether I don't know whether it's mean or not. I don't know what's going on there. So I'm gonna press the button, guys. Fifty percent, fifty percent is actually it sways slightly more to people who did press the button. I don't know, guys. What would you do in that one? Because that is definitely an on the line one. I really don't know whether wh whether it would be a pro or con, but I think I would definitely want to be able to do that because I'm not great at languages either. So being able to just like wake up one day and be able to do them all would be pretty good. Okay guys, final few. I think we've only pressed the button twice so far. I think it's only twice. Maybe three times, but I think twice. Which is definitely not a lot of button pressing. You get to spend one more week with the deceased loved one as if they were still alive. If no new lovers died, you may save this for a later date. So people that I love in my family have died, like whilst I've been alive. Uh, a granddad, an auntie, but I've been quite lucky in that not that, not that many fa family members. I'm a great grandma actually. I've been quite lucky in that not many family members have died while I've been alive. I think I think like my my most important family members, so like Ali, my parents, my brother, they're obviously still alive. So I think I would save that for a later date. So that's the basis we're gonna do this on. That if anything happens to Ali or my family, I'd be able to spend one last week with them. But after two years after this has happened, you will lose all memories of that person. <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, this one's really hard. This is actually a really hard one because I think two years, if Ali had died in two years time, I would obviously, I'd still miss him and I would be very, very sad still. But I think that soul wrenching, like deep depression sort of phase would probably have lifted and two years on, you'd be kind of, you'd, you'd be starting to like look at, look towards your own life a little bit more again. But you would still have these memories of them, but they wouldn't crush you anymore. So they'd be like, you would want those memories of that person. You'd want to remember your time together. So losing all those memories two years later, I don't think there's that much benefit from it. Like you'd rather forget them for those, actually you would never want to forget them. You'd never want to forget those memories. And I think spending one more week with someone who's died that you love that much is actually kind of a torture because like right now, I, Ali could like Ali or I could die in a week, but we don't know that, so we don't have that pressure on the next week of our lives. We're just living our lives, like loving each other as normal. If I knew he had seven days to live, I'd probably just be an emotional wreck for those seven days. So that extra week wouldn't be a true week with that person that you love. So I know I'm being boring because I'm not pressing these and I'm thinking about them too much. I'm gonna say I will not. I will not. So the Howling Wolf says, well, forgetting them would be a good way, way to move on. Anyone else agrees? But it's two years later, like, you would relish those memories after two years. Like, you'd look back fondly and smile. Like, I don't, I don't want to forget my whole time with Ali. If anything ever happened in our relationship, I wouldn't want to forget all the time I'd spent with him. So I think I made the right choice. Actually, everyone agreed with me because only 41% of people pressed that button. That's definitely a lot lower than it normally is. Jeez, I was expecting these to be like, uh, you get lollipops for the rest of your life. But... Sometimes they taste of wee, like like stupid, like crazy things. Not like things that have literally made me think and deliberate and like, like worry about things. I feel worried now, guys. I feel stressed. Okay, we'll do three more. Final three. Number three. You will never have to work again unless you want to. All food, electric and medical bills. We don't have medical bills because we live in the UK. Thank you, NHS. Will be paid for you and any item you own will not deteriorate as long as you live. Any item you own will not deteriorate. Oh, I wish that extended to pets. I wouldn't call a pet an item, but it'd be really cool if they never deteriorated either. So like Evie stayed like as a one and a half year old for ages, like Ali and, uh, Ali, <laughs> Ali is not a pet, but Oliver and Darcy would just stay young for a really long time. Like that would be amazing. Okay, but here's the downside. Your life will be static from that point on. You will not get to go on vacations, read, watch, play any books, movies, shows, games that you haven't already owned. 
nor acquire any new incorrect spelling of furniture, <laughs> appliances or clothing unless you grow out of an old set and you need a replacement. No, no, I couldn't deal with a life not moving on and not advancing, especially because I want things in my life. Like, I want to get married one day. I want kids one day. Like, I want to like grow old and watch my children like flourish and, oh gosh flourish and like do well and if I if I choose this my life will never change I will be in this state forever and like don't get me wrong my life's great like I enjoy my life a lot but life is like the journey and it's about growing on and moving up and like and becoming a more well-rounded better person I wouldn't want to say the person I am forever so this is quite an easy one it's definitely I will not 31% of people press the button that's a super low one the people agree with me on that. Two more to go, guys. Number two. Everyone you love will live long and happy lives, but you will die. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's really hard. This one's really hard. Cause like, this is the kind of one where you could say, oh, I won't press the button. And obviously it's not real that like, this won't help. But say that this was real. And if I press this button, it would happen. And I would, and I didn't press the button. Um, I didn't want to die. And I was like, I'll just risk it. What, what if like the week after like Ali got in a car crash and then my mum got a really horrible like health issue and then like all this really bad stuff started to happen and I've been like I could have prevented it all by pressing the button but then I also think if I pressed a button and died to save my family and Ali and everyone I don't think they actually would have long and happy lives like my mum especially would be like riddled with guilt until the day she died so she might have this long life but I don't think it would be happy. I don't think it could be happy unless they never remembered I existed. Oh man, I'm thinking these through too much. Oh man, this is so hard. This is so hard. This is really hard. I don't know what I would do. Oh, oh gosh, guys, what would you do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ah, I seem so selfish if I don't do it. I've not pressed the button that much. I'm gonna do it, guys. If like, a lightning bolt strikes me now and I die, then you know why. Wow, there we go. I'm still alive. It hasn't worked, but 61% of people agreed with me. Like, of course I'll die. It didn't say when. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. So I did it. I sacrificed myself expecting to die. And then the button master, who is um, Nicolas Cage, it's like, don't worry, you're not gonna die for another 60 or 70 years. So it's good, it's like the people that are willing to sacrifice are rewarded with more life and everyone they love is living long and living happy. Okay, final question, guys. You will be transported into a fictional universe of your choice and do anything within human capability. Okay, so we could go to um, Skyrim land, we could go to Pokemon land, like we could go to all these crazy, amazing fictional places I don't know if we can bring anyone with us, but here is the downside. Anyone you know in this universe completely forgets your existence and you must make a living where you choose. <gasps> so I couldn't bring Ali with me. And not only that, but he'd forget I ever existed, which would probably be better than dealing with the fact that I've become a Pokemon trainer without him. I've gotta say that, he wouldn't have to deal with that stress. But there's no way, there's no way I'm going to a fictional universe if I can't bring Ali and Evie and the cats with me. I'm not going there on my own. So it's the final one and I'm sorry guys, but I will not press the button. I will not. Although 58% of people did. So there we go guys. There are my will you press the button questions. I'm gonna leave a little link to this in the description below so you guys can give it a go. And also, I think I'm actually gonna melt now. Like you guys don't understand how hot it is in this room. It is insanely hot in this room. So I'm gonna go melt in the corner. I wish there was a button you could press. It is, you will actually, I already apparently pressed this button, which is well, you will be cold for the rest of your life. Cause I'm usually always cold, but not right now. <sighs> right now, my, like, my hair is sticking to my neck and everything. <laughs> it is a blazing inferno in here guys, but hope you guys enjoyed this quiz. If you've got any of the same questions I did, let me know what you guys answered in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!